Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning March 25th, 2019. Thank you for joining me. Oh, okay. This is going to be a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And you can also watch this if you're dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, you can watch this for wherever you have Aries in your chart, whether it's your Venus, your Mars, whatever the case may be. And as always, keep an open mind. These messages will not resonate with everyone. It is a general reading. So let's have a look at what is coming up. Okay. Ten of Cups. Since it was only one card, I'm going to keep it. Um, so what's coming up for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising. Happy birthday, Aries. For the week beginning March 25th. Oh, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Two twos, two tens, a one. What's going on for you here, Aries? Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, you have, so you have three tens in total because you have the Wheel of Fortune as your overall energy. And this is an absolutely gorgeous deck. It is the Universal Worth Tarot deck. And it just came in the mail today. So I'm very happy about that. Hope you enjoy it. So the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Now you have one, two, three, four major arcana cards. You have two. And with this one, three tens in your reading. So for some of you, I feel like you're going through um, at least one massive cycle or several cycles um, coming to completion, coming to a happy uh, completion. And then you're, you're, for some, I feel like you're jumping into something new. For others, I feel like you're just starting to do your research in terms of what you wanted to do next. Um, and for others, you may have a choice to make between different options. With the Wheel of Fortune here, this can also be travel for some of you. It could be relocation. Absolutely. It could be starting a new relationship, restarting a relationship with this energy that's meant to be. Whatever's going on for you during this time, it is meant to be. So try to at least see where the energy takes you. Um, but this is also talking about blessed changes and positive turn, uh, turn of events, okay? The Wheel of Fortune can turn for better or for worse, but with the rest of your cards, I would say it's for better for you. So these are your cards. You have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, another two, the High Priestess. For some of you, you're graduating and you're going into a new job that you're very happy with. If I can pick it up. The Ace of Wands in the center of your spread. And further, as this is coming out of a relationship and you're independent and loving it, you're finding yourself again. Or you are just starting a new relationship and there's a lot of fun, passion, and attraction. The Seven of Pentacles, so taking your time, looking at your options, planning things. The Eight of Wands, great news coming up for you. This is also sending out resumes or receiving a lot of different offers or a lot of different invitations. The Emperor. So conversations with figures of authority. For others of you, I do feel like this is talking to the government, maybe about a potential relocation. And look, you have the fall under the Wheel of Fortune. So maybe about a potential relocation or something to do with paperwork or visas, uh, to work abroad, to live abroad, um, to go visit, maybe a tourist visa or something like that, okay, is what's coming up for some of you. And this is your energy as well, because it's Aries. And the Empress. So the Empress is love, uh, growth, abundance. For some of you, there's a happy celebration in the family with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands and the Empress because there's a pregnancy announced or there is a new baby coming into the home, coming into the family. For others of you, this is um, engagements. For some, you're talking to the parents with the Emperor and the Empress. You're getting someone's blessing to propose or to make a big move. Um, for some, you're going back home to live with your parents or to take care of your parent, um, parent or parents, because you've got both mother and father energy here. Um, I feel like there was a wait time for some of you with them. It, it's almost like you had a, a set date when something would be complete. You knew about that. 
you started to plan, you started to look at your options, you started to do your research, you know, maybe do your meditation to figure out what you wanted to do next. And I feel like this time of completion, like the end of a contract, let's say, um, has happened recently or it's happening during this time. And that's why the Ace of Wands is coming up in the center of your spread, if I can pick up the card. Because <laughs> I cut my nails and this is also shiny on my, on my table. So. Um, so this is the time when you're taking action. You're grabbing the bull by the horns. You know what you want to do. And there's a lot of inspiration. There's a lot of uh, courage. There's a lot of strength. There's a lot of passion in whatever this is that you're doing. So it can be a new job. For some, you're starting a job working for the government, working in education because there's an, an element of teaching, studying. For others, th this is graduating, okay, from school or some sort of course or training program that is very important for your career, for your professional development, or your personal development, or your spiritual development is also coming up. And you have an opportunity presented to you uh, either as a result of this completion or in conjunction to it. So you met someone through this course, uh, a door was open to you through this course. For others of you, for the Aries man, you might be looking at two different options and having to choose between two different uh, people, whether that is, because we've got Earth signs, so Taurus and Libra in there as well with the Empress, the High Priestess. For some, the High Priestess comes up as Scorpio, further she represents Virgo. But basically, you've got two different options, two different people to choose from. Um, you might be ending a relationship to start a new one because you've got two tens there. For others, you're just walking away from a relationship. You're finding your independence. You're getting your, your finances back in order because the High Priestess, the Emperor, they stand alone. The High Priestess is very much keeping myself to myself. The Ten of, Cups, Ten of Pentacles can talk about the, the end of a long-term, long-lasting relationship that maybe was holding you back, maybe was affecting your finances, maybe it wasn't balanced, there wasn't give and take there. Um, and of course, for others, this is the restart of that relationship. This is coming back together, maybe after um, trying therapy or after a time of separation where you uh, simply spent time apart um, to figure out what each other wants here, okay? For others of you with the Emperor and the Empress here, and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you're taking a big, big chance on something and starting a business or starting a project. For some, I hear starting a charity or a foundation. Um, you might be working from home, so there's that home element. Your family might be helping you or your family is like your first customers, as it were, or your first whatever. Um, or they're supporting you. They're helping you one way or another. And I feel you have big plans for this. You have a, a good idea. You have a good way of going about it, a good strategy. It's all about marketing. It's all about networking, however that applies. It's all, all about getting the word out there. And don't be afraid to take it internationally, okay, is also what I'm hearing with this energy. I feel that romantically, there's a there's a significant shift is what I want to say. You have the emperor and the empress here. So this is... A very intense connection and maybe a past life connection um, it may be a, someone who, it's just meant to be basically with the wheel of fortune okay and there will be a very very intense attraction to this person physical uh, intellectual emotional there will there will just be a click you might meet this person at some sort of a gathering some sort of an event through your school um, or education or even online conversation, okay, with this energy. Basically, you're going from completing one thing that you're happy with the completion, yeah? You're happy with the completion. Starting something new that brings you prosperity, family, or a meant to be relationship. But it's very much about growth, expansion, abundance, Okay, maybe a new home, moving to your dream home, expanding it, making it your own, uh, making it a family home. Okay, that sort of that sort of energy is what I'm getting here. 
but yeah definitely awesome awesome cards awesome cards Aries let me know how these cards play out with the eight of wands the ace of wands there and the two of pentacles for some of you are just playing the field this is a lot of texting a lot of flirting with the uh, high priestess you're not necessarily interested in seeing it go anywhere because maybe you're just coming out of a relationship but it's fun and it's great for uh, self-confidence uh, self-worth getting to know people having fun you never know where it's going to go meeting new people going new places having new experiences it may also be a very very busy time with work i feel like you're working very hard if this is not completing a contract or the end of a job or retiring which can also be coming up for some of you um i feel like you're working very very hard towards a particular goal task or completion of a big big project that's like a career defining project and there is wonderful feedback coming your way if not this week then very very soon thereafter let's see additional advice for aries see we have progress evolution development growth and maturing so that's that's what the week is all about basically in whichever area of life it applies that's what this is about it's growth it's expansion you're moving forward you're evolving several different things in your life are evolving and changes change it you have to let some things go in order to have new things come in so that's why you have this ending energy here with three tens but it's for this ace of wands to come in okay which is it's next level it's better than everything you've experienced so far all right so try to keep your balance through with that two of pentacles try to just kind of navigate through it and keep your mind on what's important to you okay but it looks like a fantastic week let me know how these cards make sense to you aries let me know how they apply remember to watch your sun your moon your rising have a great week and i'll talk to you soon bye for now